All right, Greg, CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship brings you to the Pacific Northwest. Two of the higher seeds, the Maryland Terrapins of the ACC against Michigan State of the Big Ten. The winner will advance. And uh, no, don't be surprised. It is Northern Iowa that awaits the winner of this one. And don't think these two teams don't already know that. They'll meet in smaller, particularly Vasquez. He has a way of looking over the defense. But if it becomes a battle of front lines, Jordan Williams may be outmanned with the multiple bigs that Michigan State has. There's the pressure leading to a turn. Well, it's got to be disheartening for Maryland how quickly Michigan State is scoring. Bowie on the consistency of excellence. And by the way, of the four that made it uh, to Detroit last year, only one of them remains. Rebounds, three assists, and, uh, but he is a double-figure scorer. Vasquez again. Played some football at Michigan State. And you can see why Tom is on Jordan Williams really come out and support this event. Vasquez, this this town is working on summer. Yeah, they've got a bigger, a, a, a taller cover on Vasquez. What a pass! Williams just free on the inbounds pass. They say this is just uh, just the screen, and uh, everybody leaves the inside. That's as easy a basket in the interior. Tom's got five of them out there right now. So what's work for him? Vasquez, Michigan State with the lead, but the vivacious Venezuelan. Dravis Vasquez moments ago became the second all-time leading scorer in Maryland history, passing the late Lynn Bias. And of course, Juan Dixon set the table for that national championship in 2002. I had a chance to talk. Morgan and Darrell Summers have picked up the slack night, no doubt about it. And Raymar Morgan was out to a very fast start. Darrell Summers finished it up. For more in-depth analysis of this game, watch CBS College Sports Network. Continuing coverage of the NCAA tournament. Very rare that we see the shot clock getting close to 10. Vasquez with a teardrop. Dravis Vasquez's parents made the trip. They were on hand uh, for that big win that they got against Duke. That's uh, Gregorio and his mom, Evis Rodriguez. And, uh, the name Gravis, by the way, is a derivative of both names. Gray, and then the uh, this comes from Evis, the mom. Put it all together, and it's Gravis. And uh, you put it all together, it says 100% passion out on the floor. <laughs> That's how he's played his whole. This run in the last four minutes, 15 to four. Made a perfect four for four. Thank you, Darrell Summers, on three-point range. Vasquez gets the has their own role to take care of. There's Vasquez running back door could not complete it in a hurry and make adjustments. And look, he's going to be if the and that Northern Iowa team is certainly an imposing one, but not at all the, the same club that perhaps uh, he and, and and his team may have thought they would have had to play. Well, yeah, but the, the good news, you know, you're Thornton on the wing. Williams the rebound. Davis Vasquez. Eyes lighting up. He's going to take it right to the rim. And he draws the foul. She can state as much as for Maryland in the late stages here. Well, and this is the uh, this is the area for Maryland. You want to you want to score points without the clock running right now. So they're being aggressive, trying to attack the rim. And then also Lucas looks on. Vasquez gets them both. Delvon Rowe checks back in. And that's just not quitting on a play, Tim. He just stayed after it. Didn't hang his head. Hayes for three. Top. Ravis Vasquez, the player of the year in the ACC. Yes, and a foul. And then your uh, player of the year, as you said, Tim, he's going to not go out quietly. You don't want to give up a three-point play in that situation. You know, we were talking to Gary Williams yesterday on a wonderful line. He said when speaking of uh, Ravis Vasquez, he says, you know, he's, he's like a balloon that's losing air <laughs> all over the floor. <laughs> And Graves spoke of the admiration that he had for his coach. Truly, he is. Don't you think, Mike, an extension of Gary Williams? Oh, no question about it. I think there was an immediate bond his freshman year, and it's just gotten stronger over four, over time. He played and with a chip on his shoulder throughout his career, and Gary has coached with a chip on his. There's the quick double-team trap. And they get the steal. Mosley, yes! You just get the best available shot. They don't need threes at this point. Hayes back to Vasquez. Count it! Fear the turtle. The vivacious.
vicious Venezuelan from Caracas with love in Spokane. How many times do you see the guy taking it out of bounds, the most dangerous player, the quick inbounds, the defense not ready for Michigan State, and Vasquez had only hit one three in the uh, first game in uh, 38 minutes of this tournament, but knocks it down to make it a one-pointer. I think it's an illustration, Mike, of his all-floor game, and we talked to him and to his coach about that, getting his when he needs to and making sure that everyone else gets involved as well. Right, well, and he's, uh, he's improved that. He was more of a slasher when he first got to Maryland, 37% on the year this year. Michigan State playing without Kalen Lucas due to injury. Without Allen due to injury. Lucas with a lower leg injury sustained in the later stages of the first half. And now they're trying to hang on, leading by one and getting all kinds of full court pressure from the Turks. Raymond Green, one of the better passers. And Summers, of course, has been the go-to guy from the perimeter all game long. There's a wraparound pass too low for Rowe. Once again, it's Tucker on the loose. Back to Bowie. He saves it to Tucker. That's the man that wants it. Give it to him. Off the window. The bank is open on Sunday. Unbelievable. Where did this run come from for Maryland? 81-80. It's their first lead since it was 7-6. Oh, the price you pay when you cannot handle the pressure. But Gravis can. A look at our game reset. You see no timeouts for Maryland. They've done this without any since the four-minute mark. The possession arrow to the Terps, that's significant, Mike Jaminski, given the style of play and its frenetic pace. Michigan State without Kalen Lucas, for those of you just joining us, a lower left leg injury he sustained in the late stages of the first half. And uh, Tom Izzo's team hung on, but finally succumbed to the pressure. 19 turnovers so far for the Spartans. And I, you know, Tim, you look at it, and then uh, Darrell Summers has tied his career high, but it's been quiet for a stretch. You got to think he's the guy whose last basket was at the 12:29 mark. That was the last time he launched a shot as well. Only a three-second differential between shot and game clock. Green. That's a two. It's a one-point game with 20 seconds left and no timeouts remaining for Maryland. And obviously Vasquez has got to engineer something. Player of the year, taking it right at Morgan. Right at Raymar Morgan. 6.6 .6 left. 